Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a very special one. This is the King Julius 8.2% Imperial version of Julius. Reviewed this five years ago on the channel and then actually reviewed King Juju Julius at the Treehouse fourth year anniversary. So that's super fun. Check out those reviews right above. But very curious to see how this one turns out. Um, you know, I've had an interesting ride reviewing a bunch of Treehouse beers, and the uh, ones that I really enjoyed were actually very green and juice machines, some of the hype ones, just like King Julius. So, let's see how this one turns out. Looks pretty much. I I did check out the old, old reviews. Pretty much looks like the same beer, right? Um, the beer, it's murky. Uh, comes in a light gold color, but I mean it's very hazy. I think it's possibly more hazy than the other ones. I, mean, I don't know. Quite possible. Slightly yellowish head. Let's get the aroma. Sounds familiar, huh? <laughs> yeah. I get even a little bit of alcohol in that. Interesting. This is about 10 days fresh. Not like crazy, crazy aromatic, but it definitely smells like Julius. It has that doughy malt note. It uh, jumps through with uh, orange sorbet, that kind of like fruity, like orange Julius thing, a little bit of peach coming in there as well. But a lot of doughiness, you know. But it, again, the signature, I think, with Julius and some of the signature Treehouse beers, but pretty good. Cheers. Not quite, right? There's that like dry astringency on the back end. It's like ringing pretty obviously, huh? That's my initial impression. It like has that kind of soft doughiness, but then a lot of astringency on this one. There's some hot burn, yeah, wow. Hmm. It's quite good, it's quite fruity up front. Yeah, it's got this uh, ripe, ripe citrusy note, as I'm speaking. Um, creamsicle thing, a lot of peach sweetness, mangoes, riding. And then like 40, 50% of the palate through, boy, this is a very kind of green tasting beer. Um, possibility is that I could have like maybe aged this for more, but I just wanted to enjoy this fresh. 10 days fresh, yeah. I guess it wasn't enough time. Imagine maybe giving it a couple weeks could have helped, but. So if you have yourself uh, some King Julius, uh, definitely age it, but wow. This has to be one of the more, more stringent ones. I really like that there's a little bit of this kind of like doughy sweetness in the middle. That's like signature to um, Julius. This beer also doesn't have really much of the green. Mm. I guess it's a little, I guess you can call that hop thing on the back end sort of that kind of like green herbaceousness, but nice fluffy mouthfeel, but it flies away quite quickly. Yeah, I get actually right right up there towards the front palate, there's a little bit of that green thing. So it's a little bit like cantaloupe a little bit of that just kind of signature. Um, what is a signature gal galaxy ca character? I call it uh, cantaloupe, but yeah, melon forward, honeydew. I should wait a bit more. The palate sort of gets acclimated to the, the hot dryness, but still quite um, obvious. Super crushable, 8.2%, but honestly, like not as crazy, crazy as I was expecting. And obviously, expectations affect things, but for sure, it's got a very noticeable green hop thing on the on there. And it's a distract. It's a detractor, but it's not as bad as some beers. Uh, for this one. It really accentuates dryness, which really helps, like you know, pull away from the fluffiness and the sweetness of that beer up front, like the that hop note up front of the fruitiness, and then that sweet doughiness uh, in the middle, and that kind of like you know, pale crackery uh, note. But then, wow, yeah, it, it has a tingle burn on the back end. But again, I like I, I'm still okay with it. Uh, this beer for me, quite tasty, but it's more of that kind of like flight to half beer. Uh, half a beer kind of pour, uh, definitely not a crushable can for, for yeah, definitely not. Uh, what do we give those? It's hard. Because half the beer is so tasty, but the half is like dry and slightly burning. Hate to do it. Uh, 92? Yeah, that's not a ding. 92, that's King Julius. Um, I know, you guys post in comments below, what do you do with your cans of Treehouse? Do you age them a little bit? I was really excited. This is like, you know, fresh, clean palette, first review of the night. Just wanted to uh, try it out, but 10 days fresh. It says 725, uh, no, 715 on, right? 715, yeah. 10 days fresh. And um, 
That's what I'm getting. Are you getting guys getting that with your treehouse cans? What do you like to do with it? Are you aging it? Um, what's your recent experience with King Julius? Until next time, guys. Cheers. Definitely not getting that hundred out of hundred that I was uh, reviewing five, six years ago, or four, four, five years ago. But still tasty stuff. Until next time. Cheers.